Hi everyone, it's Holly with It's a Great Disney Day, where we talk all about how to plan the best Disney vacation for your family. Today, I'm going to answer some common questions people have about using Disney gift cards at Disney World. But first, if you're new to the channel, be sure and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you're notified when I upload a video. Well, let's get started with some of my favorite money-saving tips. First, let's answer the question, why use a Disney gift card? They're a great way for you to have an allotted amount of money without actually carrying cash. Plus, there's the added benefit of not having charges going through your checking account. The gift cards can be used on all Disney properties. That includes Disney World, Disneyland, Disney Cruise Line, and even at the Disney stores. They're sold in amounts of $25, $50, and $100. They don't ever expire, and there's no fees. Another common question is, how can you save money using the Disney gift cards? Well, using the Disney gift cards doesn't really save you money. However, there's a variety of deals, rewards, and cashback strategies that can save you money when purchasing the Disney gift cards. Some people use apps like Shopkick that give you bonuses for shopping. And there are several credit cards that will give you bonuses for certain amounts of spending at select locations. These can save you around 6% off the cost of a gift card and can be great if you have six months or so to plan and save for your Disney vacation. For more immediate savings, you can get about a 4% discount off of Disney gift cards when you buy them at BJ's, Costco, and Sam's Club. When using your Target Red card, you can get 5% off of Disney gift cards. The best thing is, I can buy these when I need them. One of the most common questions people ask is what can you use your Disney gift cards to purchase? And the answer is pretty much everything. They can be used for merchandise, food, park tickets, parking, to pay for your resort, and room charges. Some carts and outdoor vendors may not accept the Disney gift cards, so it's only smart to ask first. Can Disney gift cards be linked to your magic bands? Sadly, no. However, if you like the convenience of using your magic band to pay for meals and merchandise, here's a tip for you to use your Disney gift cards to pay for your charges. Link a debit card or a credit card to your account when you are doing your resort check-in. Then before your checkout day, go to the front desk and pay off all your room charges using your Disney gift card. This way, it feels like an all-inclusive vacation. You don't have to carry cash or the cards around with you during the day. Just use your magic band. Another great question is, how do you know what the balance is on your Disney gift cards? Every time you use your Disney gift card to make a purchase, toward the bottom of your receipt, you'll notice a remaining balance. If you have multiple cards that you want to check the balance on, go to the DisneyGiftCard.com site that you used when you had to activate your gift cards. You can find all your balances and you can make transfers from one card to another in the event of a lost card. When it comes to dining, can Disney gift cards be used on all the different levels of dining? Yes, they can. Snacks, quick service, table service, and even character meals. All except Disney gift cards. In fact, using Disney gift cards is my version of the Disney dining plan. This is a great way to save 5% on your dining, and if you have an annual pass, you can get 15% off table service and character meals. Our last question is, how many gift cards are needed for a vacation? Here's what I recommend. Buy the cards when you're ready to make a payment for your trip, and right before you leave for your trip, buy some more cards to cover how much you expect to spend on dining. It's a great idea to plan your dining by looking over menus and totaling up prices. That will give a projected amount and then add a little bit extra for souvenirs and for tips. Now, when activating your Disney gift cards, you'll need to consolidate the balances so that you're not carrying 50 cards with you. Instead of consolidating all the balances onto one card, it's best to split it up so you have at least two cards, just in case one gets lost. And you might even consider having one card per person. This is a great way to give kids a spending limit while giving them the freedom to make their own purchases. Well, that's gonna have to do it. If you have any other questions about Disney gift cards, let me know in the comments below. 
If you're new to the channel, be sure and hit the subscribe and the like button if it was helpful. Well, as always, remember to make it a great Disney day. See ya.